Imagine living in a world where your every need is anticipated, where routine tasks are automated, where your health, your finances and your life are enhanced by an unseen force. Welcome to the world of artificial intelligence. Every day we interact with AI, often without even realizing it. When you ask your phone for the weather forecast, that's AI. When your favorite streaming service suggests a new show based on your viewing history, that's AI too. Even your car might be using AI to navigate and avoid traffic. And it's not just our day-to-day -day lives that are being transformed. AI is revolutionizing healthcare, making predictive diagnoses that could save countless lives. It's streamlining our finances with algorithms managing investments and spotting fraudulent transactions before they occur. AI is no longer a far-off concept from science fiction. It's here, it's now, and it's making our lives better in countless ways. Indeed, artificial intelligence is not just a part of our future, it's shaping our present. To appreciate the marvel of artificial intelligence, let's travel back in time to the mid-20th century, when the seeds of AI were first sown. Our journey begins in the summer of 1956 at Dartmouth College. This prestigious institution hosted a conference that would forever change the course of technology. The Dartmouth Conference, as it came to be known, was the first gathering of minds with a shared vision to explore the possibility of creating machines that could mimic human intelligence. In the midst of this pioneering group were two individuals who would become the cornerstone of AI research, John McCarthy and Marvin Minsky. McCarthy, a young mathematician, proposed the term artificial intelligence, defining it as the science and engineering of making intelligent machines. His vision was clear, machines that could not only follow instructions, but also learn, adapt and improve. Alongside McCarthy was Marvin Minsky, a brilliant cognitive scientist. Minsky was fascinated by the human mind and was convinced that its workings could be replicated in machines. He believed that machines could be designed to simulate human thought processes and in doing so could solve problems and make decisions just like humans do. Together, McCarthy and Minsky led a team of researchers who were united by one audacious goal to build a machine that could mimic the human mind. The team spent the summer working tirelessly, bouncing ideas off one another and laying the groundwork for what would become the field of artificial intelligence. But the path to AI was not a straight line. It was a journey of exploration filled with trials and errors, breakthroughs and setbacks. The Dartmouth Conference was just the beginning of a long and winding road. The seeds of AI had been sown, but it would take decades of research, innovation and technological advances to bring these ideas to fruition. Thus, in the summer of 1956, the fascinating journey of AI began. And what a journey it has been from the humble beginnings at Dartmouth to the sophisticated AI systems of today, the story of AI is a testament to human ingenuity, perseverance and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. The 1960s brought a wave of optimism for AI, fueled by breakthroughs and bold promises. As we journey back to the 1960s, the era was marked by a new dawn of hope and optimism in the field of AI. Breakthroughs were happening at a rapid pace and the world was watching in awe, captivated by the potential of this emerging technology. One of the most noteworthy developments of this era was the creation of ELISA, a computer program developed at MIT. ELISA was designed to mimic human conversation and while it was a relatively simple program, it sparked a significant amount of interest and enthusiasm. But as with any technological advancement, the road to progress was not without its bumps. While the 1960s were a time of great strides in AI, they were also marked by significant challenges and setbacks. The bold promises made by AI pioneers were met with increasing scepticism as the decade progressed. Despite the advancements, there was a growing realisation that creating a machine capable of human-like intelligence was a far more complex task than initially anticipated. The limitations of the technology became apparent and the optimism of the early 1960s began to wane. This marked the onset of what is now known as the first AI winter, a period of reduced funding and interest in AI research. 
As we moved towards the end of the decade, the enthusiasm for AI had dwindled. The gap between the grand promises and the reality of AI had widened, leading to disappointment and disillusionment. Despite the promise of AI, the technology was not ready to deliver on its potential. The challenges were profound, and the nascent field of AI was struggling to overcome them. But while the 1960s ended on a somewhat somber note for AI, it's important to remember that these early challenges laid the groundwork for the advancements we see today. The setbacks were not failures, but stepping stones on the path to progress. The 1960s ended with a chilly forecast for AI as the gap between expectations and reality widened. As the world moved into the 70s, AI entered a period of hibernation, but the dream was far from dead. In this decade, artificial intelligence found itself in a challenging landscape. It was a time when the grand promises of AI were met with a cold reality. Funding began to dry up as investors and governments grew skeptical. They had expected quick, tangible results, but AI was a marathon, not a sprint. The technology was still in its infancy and the world was not ready to nurture it. Yet even in this period of hibernation, the dreamers and visionaries of AI refused to let the dream die. They continued to explore, to experiment, to push the boundaries of what was possible. It was a time of quiet progress, of laying the groundwork for the future. Technological limitations also played a significant role in this AI winter. The computing power necessary to drive complex AI algorithms simply wasn't available. The tools and hardware were rudimentary and the data needed to train AI was scarce. AI was a giant struggling to walk in a world not yet equipped to support its weight, but every winter must eventually give way to spring. As the 80s rolled in, AI saw a resurgence. The era of expert systems dawned, with machines designed to emulate the decision-making ability of a human expert. These systems demonstrated the potential of AI, reigniting interest and bringing in a new wave of investment. However, this spring was short-lived. The limitations of expert systems became apparent, leading to a second AI winter in the late 80s and early 90s. The optimism of the early 80s gave way to disappointment yet again. But just as in nature, these periods of hibernation were necessary for growth. They allowed for reflection, for learning from mistakes, and for setting the stage for the next breakthroughs. The 90s saw AI weathering another winter, but the seeds sown in the past were about to bear fruit. The dream of AI was far from dead, it was merely waiting for the right conditions to bloom. The new millennium brought a new dawn for AI, powered by advances in technology and a surge in data. As the calendar pages flipped over to mark the start of the 2000s, AI found itself on the cusp of a groundbreaking resurgence. This wasn't just a reawakening, it was a revolution, fueled by two key catalysts, machine learning and big data. Machine learning, a subset of AI, began to take center stage. This technology allowed machines to learn and improve from experience without being explicitly programmed. It was like teaching a child to identify a dog by showing them hundreds of pictures of dogs until they could recognize one on their own. Suddenly, AI wasn't just about following preset rules. It was about learning, evolving and adapting. In tandem with the rise of machine learning, the world witnessed an explosion of data. Every click, like, share and comment on the internet left behind a digital footprint, creating an ocean of data. This vast reservoir of information became the perfect training ground for machine learning algorithms, allowing AI to learn at an unprecedented scale and speed. And then came a moment that shook the world. In 1997, IBM's supercomputer Deep Blue defeated the reigning world chess champion, Garry Kasparov. This wasn't just a game of chess. It was a symbol of AI's potential to outsmart human intelligence. Deep Blue's victory sent ripples through the tech world, sparking a new wave of interest and investment in AI. But this was only the beginning. Over the course of the 2000s, AI began to seep into every corner of our lives, from recommending movies on Netflix to powering voice assistants like Siri and Alexa. With each passing year, AI became more advanced, more integrated and more influential. By the end of the 2000s, AI was back in the spotlight, ready to redefine the future. This was the dawn of a new era, an era where AI wasn't just a concept in a science fiction novel, but a reality shaping our everyday lives. In the last decade, 
AI has come of age, transforming from a futuristic concept to a daily reality. No longer a distant dream, it's now a tangible part of our lives, whether it's in the form of a helpful voice assistant waking us up in the morning or the algorithms that curate our social media feeds, AI is deeply woven into our everyday existence. Incredible advancements have been made. Take, for instance, self-driving cars. Once only seen in science fiction, they are now navigating our roads, learning and improving with each mile they cover. These autonomous vehicles are a testament to the power of AI leveraging complex algorithms to make split-second decisions, ensuring a safer, more efficient journey for all. And it's not just on our roads where AI is making waves, it has also made a mark in the world of competitive games. In 2016, the world watched in astonishment as AlphaGo, an AI developed by DeepMind, defeated a world champion Go player. A game of such complexity and nuance, it was once thought impossible for a machine to master but AI proved us wrong, showing us that it could not only learn but strategize and outmaneuver a human. But as AI continues to evolve and integrate into our lives, it brings with it a set of challenges. Questions around ethics, privacy, and job displacement loom large. There's an increasing need for us to navigate these issues with care, ensuring that the benefits of AI are accessible to all, while minimizing its potential risks. As we stand on the brink of a new decade, the journey of AI is far from over. It's a journey of promise, potential and profound impact. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible with artificial intelligence, we are also shaping our future, creating a world where AI is not just a tool, but a partner in our progress. As we look ahead, the impact of AI on our future is both exciting and profound. Imagine a world where personalised medicine is the norm. Each one of us could have a bespoke healthcare plan meticulously designed by AI algorithms that analyze our unique genetic makeup, lifestyle habits, and other critical health metrics. It could predict potential health risks and prescribe preventive measures tailored to our specific needs. Picture smart cities where AI manages traffic flow in real time, reducing congestion and emissions. The same AI could monitor energy consumption, optimizing it to meet the needs of the city and its inhabitants while minimizing the carbon footprint. AI could even help in waste management by predicting waste generation patterns and planning efficient routes for garbage collection and recycling. But this future isn't without its challenges. As we integrate AI deeper into our lives, we must grapple with ethical questions. What happens when AI makes a mistake? Who will be responsible? How do we ensure that AI doesn't mirror the biases of its creators, leading to a world that's less equitable, not more? These are not questions to be taken lightly. They require serious thought, robust debate, and ultimately responsible AI development. We must ensure that AI serves humanity, not the other way around. We need to establish guidelines that ensure transparency, accountability, and fairness in AI systems. We are at the cusp of a new era where AI isn't just a tool, but a partner. A partner that could help us solve some of our most pressing problems from climate change to poverty, a partner that could make our lives easier, healthier and more enriching. But it's up to us to shape this future. We must guide the development of AI, ensuring it's used ethically and responsibly. We must harness its power for the greater good while keeping a vigilant eye on potential pitfalls. In this extraordinary journey from the 1950s to the present, AI has transformed from a dream to a reality, and its greatest chapters are yet to be written.